And welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas Goes Nostalgic. And on this episode, we're going to be continuing our Channel 6 News Diorama. And if you haven't caught my last two episodes, folks, go back and watch those. On the first episode, we constructed the whole entire Channel 6 News building. And on the second episode, we started with the ground floor working on the lobby. So now we're moving to the second floor. And I really had a few ideas for this, but I thought it'd be cool to split the diorama in half and have two different sections. And I'm gonna split it and make it a reception area for Irma. And then the wall that will be dividing both the rooms will split the other side for Burns' office. So I'm gonna have an office for the boss and then Irma will have a reception area and that will make up our second floor. And after this episode, that means I'm at the halfway mark. I have two more floors to go after this. And then for the big finale, I'm going to paint the exterior. So I'm really excited to knock off another one of these floors off the list. So if you're up to date on this Channel 6 News building diorama series, let's get to it. And I've already prepped my foam by giving it a prime with black acrylic paint and Mod Podge. And just removing that panel, this is the space that we have to work with. So I want to measure the dimensions of this diorama so that I can cut a panel that will act as a divider wall for the two different rooms. So I cut out this piece of one inch thick foam. I want there to be support. I may need to go back to the first floor eventually and put in a support beam. But for now, I'm going to focus on this floor. So I'm just marking the walls of where I'm going to separate the colors. And at first, I painted this in a completely different way than I probably should have. I went with this light blue for Burns' office and this yellow for the lobby. However, looking at the colors of the pictures from the show, I went with this darker blue and a gray. So there'll still be one accent wall of yellow, but these will be the primary colors for the back and side wall. So I carved out some squares onto the ceiling because it looks like that drop down tile and that design was pretty consistent in the show. And I'm gonna sprinkle some colors onto it but just by tapping this brush. So I'm gonna mix some dark gray, some white, and some of this dark blue to give it that same design it has on the show. I also used my Proxon hot wire table to cut out a bunch of these small thin pieces because these are all going to act as my molding and I need a lot of that for this particular project. I'm also going to take this rectangular piece and slice out a whole bunch of pieces. This way I can cut out my doors. So when I'm sliding it through, I'll have these nice thin pieces and then that'll be separate from the molding that I put on the doorway. And I'm going to start cutting the molding to fit each of the floors and the tops of the walls. And I'm going to use Vern as a scale reference so that I can start cutting out the frames for the doors as well. And I'm using these door frames that I had previously used from a dollhouse door just so I can get the angles right so that when I mount the foam to the wall, all the angles touch and I have a nice angular cut. And now that I've attached most of my molding, I'm gonna start working on a flat piece that will act as that wall panel that Burns has in his office with all of the different TV screens on it. So I've already primed it black. I'm just gonna glue it on using some PVA glue and I'll use some hot glue as well, just so it has a fast hold while that PVA glue dries.
and I have some leftover material from the lobby diorama and I'm using the slinky wings as my carpet so I just cut them to size and slip them into both sides of the office. And I glued a piece of molding where I shouldn't have which actually peeled up the paint but that's okay because I'm going to put the door frame on and then one of those flat pieces of foam that I'm going to use for the door will get glued right on top so you won't be able to see that blemish in the foam. And I'm going to start painting my doors using a technique that was taught to me by a friend of the channel and they just showed me how they mix the colors and it really gives that cartoon effect. So if you start watching the old cartoon, you'll see there's not anything that's really one solid color. There's a blend of different colors and I think that effect is achieved really well when painting these doors. So most of the construction is complete on this diorama. I need to get in some of the furniture pieces and accessories and details. So right now we're just going to work on those very minor details before we can cap off this project. I'm going to use these little wooden balls. I'm just going to flatten the edges using a Dremel and I will glue these to the wall and paint it gold and these will act as my doorknob. So I'm just going to use my Dremel just to flatten the edge a little bit and then these will be able to glue on nice and secure. I'm cutting out these little flat pieces of foam because these will be the actual fixture for the doorknob and then once I paint those, I'll glue those on. Now I've cut out about six of these little TV frames and these are the TV frames that will go onto that black wall and then I will paint in the letters above the different cities that the televisions are focused on. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the holes out with my X-Acto knife and then we'll get these painted and glued to that wall. And I haven't glued these frames on yet. I just wanna make sure that I paint in the screens behind it. So I'm using a mixture of dark and light blue and then I'll give it a nice little coat of white as a reflection. And then once I get the framing right and make sure that all of the color is filled in, then I'll go ahead and get these TV screens painted and glued to this panel. And I went ahead and painted those frames off camera and now I'm just adding that white highlight just to make it look like these televisions have some glare coming through it. So this panel is almost complete. All I have to do is glue the frames on and then I can write the cities above the TV frames and there's some reference in the show I might add one or two just to make it a little more personal for me but once I'm done with that this side panel is complete I also painted some nameplates on the walls so I have the back door says editor and then Burns's office says president and I also made that channel six, which is a little different from the one in the lobby. It's a lighter blue, and I used that paint effect to make sure I got the proper shading on it. So I like the way that came out, really cool, and I like that it's different from the one on the first floor. Next, I wanna work on the window in Burns' office, so I superimposed a photo of the turtle blimp on a picture that I took of the NECA TMNT tune backdrop. So I'm building this frame for it, and I used that paint shading technique on it as well. And I made a little slip so that I can slip that photo in. And if I ever wanted to change the photo, I can go ahead and do that. I'm also going to cut out an action figure package so I can make it look like there's a glass window. So I'm just gonna cut out a square from the plastic of the packaging that will give it some dimension. Now that the window is complete, I can go ahead and glue it and mount it to the wall. And while I'm building out all these accessories, there's a few accessories I just didn't want to make. So I found this WWE 
accessory chair, which is perfect for Burns' office. It looks exactly like the one I've seen in some reference photos. And now we're gonna start working on the desk. So I started working on the one for Irma. I've already primed it. Now I'm just gonna work on the one for Burns, add some of the front panels for details, get it nice and painted. And I think after these desks, we are actually complete with this project. So let's go ahead and work on some of the paint and the detail, and we'll go ahead and do that. Just using my X-Acto knife, I'm gonna cut out these squares because I'm gonna glue this panel onto the front of the desk just to give it that extra bit of detail to make it look like it has some intricate design around the desk in the front. So this will look cool, all nice and painted. So once I get this glued and primed, um, then I can go ahead and start the paint and then I think we can wrap this up. And while I'm waiting for those desks to dry from their prime, I wanna put a cork board on the side wall so I have this material that I found at the Dollar Tree that will be perfect for this. So I'm just measuring out my dimensions. I'm gonna make this about three inches long, four inches tall, and then I'll put some little notes on it, um, like Burns stuck them to it, and then I'll go ahead and make a border for it too. So this is the material that I found at the Dollar Tree. I think this will look perfect. So we'll go ahead, cut that frame out, and then we will get that mounted to the wall as well. So while I'm waiting for the cork board to dry, this is one of the last things that I have to do, and it's paint these desks. So I'm just making sure I put some dark brown in all the cracks and creases so that's covered, and then we'll start our blending technique with the dark brown and also the tan. So I'm gonna make sure that I use a base of dark brown with highlights of the tan on the base of the desk, but then on the top, I'm gonna reverse that. I'm gonna make sure I'm using mostly tan and then just highlight it with the darker brown so that the top will actually be lighter than the base of the desk. And I'll do this with both of them. All right, folks, that does it for this second floor of our Channel 6 News Diorama. So we've already got two floors down, two more to go, and then we can start working on the exterior. So I had so much fun making this one, as always. Thanks to some help from a few friends online that really helped me with the painting techniques and some ideas, but I love the way this came out. So folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please stay with me as we continue to build up onto this Channel 6 News Diorama. And as always, if you like this content, hit like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post my next episode. Until then, I'll catch you next time.